the image showcases the ventral surface of an axial section of the brain through the internal capsule. Let's focus on identifying important structures such as the lenticular nucleus, thalamus, third ventricle, and the pineal gland. The lenticular nucleus consists of the putamen and the globus pallidus within the basal ganglia. The globus pallidus is located on the medial side, while the putamen is positioned laterally. Wilson disease, characterized by copper accumulation, can impair the function of the lentiform nucleus, leading to hepatolenticular degeneration. On the left side of the axial brain slice, you can clearly see the medial and lateral segments of the globus pallidus. The size of the lentiform nucleus increases in obsessive compulsive disorder, while it decreases in anxiety disorders. Moving to the dorsal surface of the midbrain, you'll find the pineal gland. It is situated along the midline. The pineal gland plays a crucial role in secreting melatonin and regulating the body's circadian rhythm. Internal capsule, anatomy and subdivisions. The internal capsule is a compact bundle of projection fibers that connect the cerebral cortex to other parts of the brain, forming the corona radiata. It is situated deep within the subcortical region, positioned between the head of the caudate nucleus and the thalamus medially, and the lentiform nucleus laterally. In transverse section, it resembles the shape of the letter V, with the apex of the V facing medially. The internal capsule can be divided into several parts with distinct relationships. 1. Anterior limb. This portion lies between the head of the caudate nucleus and the lentiform nucleus. 2. Genu. The genu is a bend between the anterior and posterior limbs of the internal capsule. 3. Posterior limb. It is situated between the thalamus and the lentiform nucleus. 4. Retrolenticular part. The retrolenticular portion is located caudal to the lentiform nucleus. It contains the optic radiation, also known as the geniculocalcarine tract, which carries visual information from the lateral geniculate body to the occipital visual cortex, specifically the calcarine fissure. 5. Sublentiform part. Positioned beneath the lentiform nucleus, the sublentiform portion contains the auditory pathway. It carries auditory signals from the medial geniculate nucleus to the primary auditory cortex located in the superior temporal gyrus. Components of each part of the internal capsule. Anatomy and functions anterior limb. The anterior limb of the internal capsule consists of both ascending and descending tracts. Ascending tracts, the anterior thalamic radiation, thalamocortical tract, is responsible for transmitting sensory information from the thalamus to the cerebral cortex. Descending tracts, frontopontine fibers, corticopontocerebellar tract, carry motor commands from the frontal cortex to the pons and cerebellum. Genu. The genu of the internal capsule contains specific components for both ascending and descending tracts. Ascending tracts, superior thalamic radiation transmits sensory information from the thalamus to the cerebral cortex. Descending tracts, corticonuclear fibers convey motor commands from the cortex to the cranial nerve nuclei in the brainstem. Posterior limb. The posterior limb of the internal capsule consists of both ascending and descending tracts. Ascending tracts, superior thalamic radiation, continues to transmit sensory information from the thalamus to the cerebral cortex. Descending tracts, corticospinal fibers, pyramidal tract, carry motor commands from the cortex to the spinal cord. Corticopontine fibers, project to the pons, and corticorubral fibers 
reach the red nucleus. Retrolentiform part. The retrolentiform part of the internal capsule contains specific ascending and descending fibers. Ascending fibers. Posterior thalamic radiation. Optic radiation. Transmits visual information from the lateral geniculate body to the occipital visual cortex. It also includes fibers from the pretectal area. Descending fibers, parietopontine and occipitopontine fibers, as well as fibers from the occipital lobe to the superior colliculus, are present. Sublentiform part colon. The sublentiform part of the internal capsule includes ascending and descending tracts. Ascending tracts inferior thalamic radiation, auditory radiation, carries auditory information from the medial geniculate nucleus to the auditory cortex. Descending tracts, parietopontine and temporopontine fibers, as well as fibers between the temporal lobe and thalamus, are present. The corticospinal and corticonuclear tracts, collectively known as the pyramidal tract, form a significant portion of the internal capsule. They transmit impulses from the upper motor neurons in the cerebral cortex to the lower motor neurons in the brain stem and spinal cord, modulating skeletal muscle activity in the body.